Grandma Judah is a monster reborn? <laughs> no way! No, no, no! Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Dueling Nexus Ranked with me, Dan Rao. Today we're gonna see if we can win a few more games with Metaverse. Now you might have noticed we made a few small changes to the deck. Nothing major, but we're main decking Dimensional Fissure again. Uh, we also have a mil uh, Vermilion Dragon Mech empowered in Zegtron that can be summoned off Hopper. We have a Pentastag and Guy Dragon the Thunder Charger in case I run into something that likes to flip their ship face down. We have three Lady Assailant of Flames for the same reason, but it's just an excuse. <laughs> If we ever run into a matchup today where I'm not worried about losing, this is going in. All three of it. I've swapped out the three mystical space typhoons for just regular typhoons because I figured I didn't really need the mystical space part. Now that Necrophase is at three, it seems kind of a waste not to play Inferno Tempest, especially when it's searchable by left arm offering. Inferno Tempest gets rid of all of the monsters in both players' decks, and Necroface gets rid of an additional 15 cards on top of that, and if that doesn't take your opponent out, I don't know what will. To that effect, we also have two Kaijus, and we are using the biggest ones, reason being, this thing is exactly 3000 attack bigger than Decoy Dragon. Decoy Dragon, which we are going to run straight into this thing just to activate Inferno Tempest. Also using Kaijus because I'm lame and I don't like losing. I almost forgot, I actually put into Acts of Despair. The reason we have two Acts of Despair isn't just so we can run over stuff, it's so we can attach it to our opponent's stuff and run our decoy dragon right into it to activate Inferno Tempest. So without further ado, let's start losing. Paper. Fuck! My only weakness! Scissors. <laughs> okay, he wants me to start. Fine, I will. Ugh. Please give me... We drew the third one! Why? Oh. Well, Ascension's gone. We really need a worm? The best thing to do. Okay. This is technically the best play. It's not what I wanted to do, because I really wanted Ragnarok. But this is technically the best play. Given that this goes through, of course. We're gonna get rid of this Daedalus and one more Daedalus so we can set up for Tyrant Dragon and Nephthys on the next turn. Um, and Daedalus is going to turn our Aloof Lupine into Defense Position and then Standby Phase. So that's all we're gonna hope for. This is the best ideal setup we can do. We have a left arm offering just in case things go wrong. Oh, things are about to go really wrong. <laughs> Hello, Castle of Strongbow. We're playing against this. Do we have anything main to get rid of this? Yes and no. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Destroys the spell and trap, does it? Or is it just one card? I forget. One card on the field, destroy it. Okay. Hmm. That blows. Oh, he got rid of... <laughs> Little does he know, we have two more in hand. <laughs> we can get rid of this thing. We can't do much about- Ugh! Ew! Why? Why? Why would you- Actually, mm -mm. I'm not gonna say much. Pot of Desires just means you get less turns of Castle of Strongburg. More draw? Why? Why? I... I don't understand. Why is he playing dangers in this? I'm not gonna add anything. I don't need to. Uh, is he going to say back row? Fucking doubt it. Not gonna add a metaphist to my hand, we're just gonna let this go through, um, and see what happens. We can't attack, of course, due to Castle of Strongbrook, but yo, like, can you chill? <laughs> why does he have- why? The- oh, right, that's right, Thunderbird. But why is he playing dangerous with this? I don't understand. I mean, yes, Hexatrude is technically a level 8. Does he not play anything else? Oh, wow, Jesus, oh fuck, we lose. Yeah, the game is over. We just lost. Holy shit! <laughs> wow! We just lost. And technically it wasn't entirely my fault because there's nothing I could have done. <gasps> I say it's not my fault. 
I decided to build poorly. Holy fuck. Okay. So there's one thing we can do, which is grab our Daedalus and then pray to God. Uh huh. So we're no longer allowed to take any damage. We can't attack anywhere, right? Daedalus is going to defense position. Goodbye. Okay, Castle of Stromberg is happening. He has nine cards left in the deck. That thing dies next turn, right? Let me think. Let me read this. You must banish ten cards from the top of your deck face down, or this card is destroyed. Cool. So it's destroyed. Okay, he can't do much with that. Orochi is gone, gone, gone. Worst case scenario is what? He has a grin in hand. Axe of Despair is gonna do jack shit. Think, think. Okay, we're activating one of these, and we're going to left arm offering. The effect would do jack shit. I know it's like wishful thinking, but still. Um, We don't need Strongbird destroyed. What we really, really need is some kind of defensive play. I could just banish one Decoy Dragon, but I really want to banish Necroface. Is Decoy Dragon the only way we win, though? What cards do we have? We have one Daedalus that isn't dead yet. You want to go Necroface and pray to God. Give me Decoy Dragon. Thank you. That's technically one. Oh wait, I win now, right? Because he decks out. <laughs> ah, I forgot! Well, it's gonna get destroyed anyway, that's fine. <coughs> oh, it's game as fuck. It's game as fuck, baby. 150 life points! 150 life points, and it doesn't matter what the fuck I do. Ah, <laughs> uh, that feels good. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna make... Because <laughs> it's cute and I want to show him. Ah, yeah, play the next round. Three Necroface, thank you! <laughs> right, now that we know he's playing all that bullshit, let's put in some soul absorptions, cause fuck that! Oh my god, fuck that. Will we actually need Asimetaphys? I'm not sure. We sure as hell don't... Sorry. We sure as hell don't need Typhoons? I want to use this, though, because I'm really worried about getting Hexatruded and losing my field to it. Is that fine? It feels fine. We definitely need these guys. Axe of Despair? Do we need it? No, not really. We don't really need Axe because there's nothing that we need to swing over. Does that mean we're allowed to keep these Axe Metaphysics in? Yeah, probably. Seems fine to me. Do we need D Fisher? He's banishing all his shit anyway. No, we don't. Okay. Hope and pray. <laughs> Hope and pray. Oh, there we go. So we have opened Necroface as well as- Ooh, okay! So you think he's learned a lesson from last time. I want to keep Gold Sack. Uh, reason being... The reason I want to keep Gold Sack is because we want to keep, uh, Spirit Master alive. This hand kinda sucks. Actually, no. This hand is too good. <laughs> yeah, this hand is too good. One thing we need is that- okay, that's fine. Yep. Mm -hmm. I really need to banish a decoy dragon. That's the issue. For now, I'll be happy with life points. If we just have these life points, as well as a monster on the field- Oh, you beautiful creature. <laughs> uh, this should mean that we'll be able to survive most of what he's gonna go for next turn. So, we're gonna leave it at that. Let's go. Mm-hmm. 
We can activate two, however the only thing we're going to activate is Decoy Dragon. We're going to keep our Daedalus in the Banish Zone to make sure we have access to it with Decoy Dragon in case he somehow leaves Decoy Dragon alone. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, give me the health. Give- oh yeah baby, give me the health. Give me the health. I don't think he expected me to side in Soul Absorption, but I have. And I have 14,500 life points. Good luck taking that away. If you can, I'll be very, very sad. I still can't believe we won game one. Still can't fucking believe it. Hello. Eater of Millions, I keep forgetting what it does. It banishes one of our slight things face down. Right, once we're turned at the start of the damage tip. Cool, we still get our decoy dragon. I think. If I haven't read it wrong. He has foolish? For what? His dangers? Wait, no. It's something from hand, isn't it? Yeah, so what's he foolishing? Grin Majuta Iza wants to rip on? <laughs> no way! No, no, no! I didn't just speak that to life. No, hell no. There's no fucking way. There's no way I called that. There's no way this is happening. You, he doesn't have it. There's no way he has it. You don't have it. This is not a play. You can't have Foolish Burial into- yeah. Oh, is that a Call of the Haunted? Is one of those a Call of the Haunted? Okay, he has a Super Bullet. Yikes. Well, he does have a fuckload of Dark Monsters, I can understand that. Fuck, I'm terrified he has Gren. I have 17k health, but he has a Gren in the grave and two set cards. The fuck are they? Um, weren't they both special summoned though? Yeah, they were. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> Only a little bit. On the boat now? I'm still low-key terrified of that grin, to be honest. Not much we can do about it either, and to be honest, we won't have to. Cause all we need to do is swing. Is normal summoning gonna do me any good? Necrophase will be... 100, so 17 to 19, that will be 31. Is that game? I still don't know what his back row is, we need to swing. Cool. Nip this? Hey. It was a monster reborn! <laughs> Why the fuck did he activate it? Why? Why? Why didn't he activate the monster reborn? I mean, I could have taken it. But still! Why? <gasps> and we win. For cereal, though, he didn't activate the monster reborn, but he had foolish for Gren into the reborn. And I called it. That's not the important part, but he didn't activate it. That's the important part. Why not? Paper. Nice. Second. Okay. My hand seems all right. Maybe would have preferred a Nephthys. Tyron Dragon over an Ephthys, but other than that, why is- why does everyone have a pot of desires? <laughs> why? Everyone. I know it's good. But not in everything. Oh. Okay. Hello? Battle Fader? Huh? <laughs> Is it level 1s? Is he just playing level 1s? Are they all dark level 1s? Why is it in the first position? Uh, questions. Well, we get to see what the face down is. 
with uh, as Metaphys next turn. What I really want to do, because I think there's no danger of being OTK'd whatsoever, is just have an empty field. That's really how I feel. Because if we Daedalus into, um... What's it called? If we Daedalus... <laughs> If we Daedalus um, into the Tyrant Dragon, we can just actually, that's a little bit dangerous, isn't it? Yeah. We may as well just use it now. Um, oh, what I was going to say is we can get a Tyrant Dragon banished with Daedalus, that can summon a Nephthys and get rid, of his, get rid of his back row. But we may as well just see what back row he has anyway. Holy God! Should have seen that coming. Okay, slight change of plan. He fucking ass. That was a really good play on his part. That was really, really intelligent. But fuck him! And fuck you. I don't like you anymore. You were my friend before this began. Bree, Bri, 999, not anymore. Right, so those and those. Hmm, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll leave it as it is. Uh, we can get one of you to the hand, and we'll banish the Tyrant Dragon that we promised. Uh-huh, both. That's alright. And we'll keep one of you here. Uh, as a metaphor, since we have two of them, isn't going to be doing anything in terms of stopping the attack, so we're going to be relying on a decoy dragon. Hopefully it's nothing for it. If he does, we're fucked. <laughs> we have kept our Nephthys banished as whole. You dog. You sly dog. You sly dog. You don't think I can out damage that, do you? Well, I can. So there. Okay, we lost. Uh-huh, we have lost big time. We have lost Omega big time. Well, we're playing against somebody else that banishes. And frankly, I'm not too pleased with how I played that. So, Axe of Despair isn't necessary. I want my Typhoons. I'm so sad, y'all. <laughs> I'm so, so sad. Will we survive one attack? There's a good chance we might. This is not how we're going to take our first loss. This absolutely is not. I really want to use our Inferno Tempest. Ragyaki is also really, really good for us, though. No, that's not the time. We have one Raigeki. What I'm really feeling... What I'm really feeling... Is a way to get rid of his, um... Actually, is that really important? I, I just don't like him having soul absorption. I can negate it, though. Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> We're going second again. I do have a soul absorption and I know he does as well. I've played poorly, game one. I don't want to continue to play poorly. It's weird that he has Battle Fader. It's very, very strange. Maybe I should have chosen to go first since I have soul absorption and I know that he does as well. If I draw a Ragnarok, his field is, um, his back row is done. I'm not quite sure exactly what back row he plays, but we do know that he has Soul Absorption and he doesn't have a problem with setting it. If I was him, I'd activate it though, if anything, right? I feel like he's the kind- why do we have three? <laughs> I feel like he's the kind of guy that should know what our cards do. And I for one, certainly. Certainly, certainly, certainly. We have one decoy banished, sorry, not decoy, the Daedalus banished. We have a decoy in hand. We can go for two decoys, this way we're unlikely to lose both of them. Oh, 
On the other hand, we can get rid of his back row. Let's go back row. Because I don't trust it, that's the only reason. We have to pray that it hasn't cited out anything and cited in anything intelligent for game two. But to grab our Nephthys, I'm gonna slam our Tyrant Dragon. Go, my child! I really should have put this into defense position, given that I know- Oh my god! He has it too! And he has three! Oh. Yeah, that's kind of sad. He's normal summon Battle Fader um, on the assumption that he was going to activate Inferno Tempest. Not anymore, however, it seems. Sadly. He still has to make a move though. He's probably going to go to game 3. I don't know what I'm going to be signing. It's really, really fucking hard. We do know he has Inferno Tempest now though. Same as us. And the Kaiju, same as us. Does that mean we're doing something right? Hard to say. Okay, he has the thing in the box. Is it gonna get rid of the kaiju? No, he could just get rid of aloof lupine. He might get rid of the kaiju though. No, he gets rid of aloof lupine and that means I can't attack thingy anymore. So yeah, that's what he's gonna do. Uh-huh. Sad guy, he got rid of that. This is the whole game, though. <sighs> I have mine. <laughs> Not that it's gonna do any good for him. I mean, how badly do I want to cheese? I mean, the more cards are banished, the more likely I'm gonna lose, so we're just gonna write Geki. Given that we also know he probably doesn't play any proper back row, so. We should probably carry some burn in this deck, to be honest. Something to do against opposing soul absorption, definitely. We do have Horus that can negate it, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Uh, Tyrant Dragon and a Nephthys should be fine. Yep. Oh, we're back at huge life points. I mean, it could have been either of us. Um, I mean, at this point, the games are really just a 50-50. I have to pray I win game three, though, because there's no fucking way! There's no way I'm going to accept losing. Not now. Not anymore. Rageki was made on the assumption that I'm going to win on the next turn, however. So if he has something for me now, we're kind of boned. <laughs> we just have to see. It really does suck about um, the play that he made with Battle Fader. Um, if he didn't, uh, if he knew that his Inferno Tempests were banished, then of course he wouldn't have done that, and that would have been, you know. Game 2 could have turned out a little bit differently. He could have, you know, made something entirely different. I'm actually curious if he has any rank 1s. Not that the rank 1s are particularly good. Just curious. He could always have that relinquish thing. The link monster that is. Or Link Karibo as well. 
now that I'm thinking about it. I mean, game three, bro. I really don't know what that phase down is. I'd like to know. I wish I remember that Neftis is once per turn. I actually, it's not once per turn. I fucking, um... Yeah, I decoyed from the Pendulum Zone, which I should know better than to do, but... I did do that, and it is my fault, and I have lost one of them, and that's my punishment. I'm still really, really lucky that my solo Zoshin has stayed on the field, and also that he hasn't drawn a Grand Major Deiza, otherwise I'm sure I would have seen one by now. Now that I know, don't swing randomly into stuff, otherwise you'll lose. You never know what that face down is gonna be. Come on, man! I know it sucks, and it was a misplay, and it does happen, and it was my fault, <laughs> but come on, we need to play, you will run out of time, among other things. He has one card in hand, and one card face down. There cannot be that many things that you can do. Let's wait in silence. Okay, so there's about a minute left. If you're watching this now, I hope you're safe. I hope you're comfortable. I hope you're well. I hope your family is well. I hope your friends are well. I hope everyone's having a good time. We're making the best out of this situation as it is. And I don't mean that. Well, looks like he's gonna time out. I've never had anyone time out on me before on Dueling Nexus, but we're gonna find out what happens. Guessing we're gonna go to a game three, by default. I mean, I went brain dead game one. He probably looked away from his screen game two. This has been kind of a really shitty series. I hope game three is legit. If it's legit, I might lose. <laughs> I actually just thinking though, like, should I go first? It seems kind of beneficial to me, right? Because I get to essentially get more life points and punish him if he ever tries to activate Pot of Desires. I think that's what I should be going for. I don't know how useful Typhoons are going to be to me. I don't think they're going to be that useful now that I think about it. I do know that he has kaijus now as well for some fucking reason. If anything, I don't need to activate the Inferno Tempest, he has three of them. So we're just gonna see what happens. Right? Right. Hmm. I kinda wanna put in two hoppiers. Is two hoppiers better than the kaijus? Technically, yes. I'm just curious. I just want to see what happens. Maybe I'll draw both of them and brick my hand game through like I deserve to after a game like that. And we're still waiting on him to decide. Maybe something's gone up on his end. I hope he's okay. Because I really want to play this game three. Now we wait. I don't even know if this dude has a side deck. I mean, what would he even side for me? We both banish shit. <laughs> it's hard to say, and I don't know if I'm gonna find out. I have finished siding, but we're just waiting on him now. Time limit up, I win? Well, that was. St that sucks. Mm -hmm. 
paper, please. Thank you. We are going second. There's no way we can end this on a loss. Not to Noble Knights. No, it's not going to happen. Not today. We're going to play properly. If we lose now, okay, we're going to lose now. But if we lose now, it's going to be because we misplayed when we were trying not to. Okay, Yang Zing with Dragonic. Cool. I wonder how many Yang Zings he plays. Maybe all of them. I mean, this way he gets um, Jiao Tu, doesn't he? This is actually very, very interesting. We have a D Fissure. Wish we opened. Uh, wish we went first with that. But that's okay. It should still be useful um, going forward. In fact, I'm pretty relieved to have it in my opening hand versus a deck like this. And we also have Asimetaphus and Ragnarok as well. If he has anything small, we're going to hit it. And we're going to hit it hard. Very hard. Technically, we didn't need Asimetaphus right now if he has a... Uh, if he has a Cyclone, I will have just done the single most retarded thing I've ever done. <laughs> but that's alright. He's not gonna like this. Okay, he doesn't have it. We get the ideal, uh, given that he doesn't have- okay, we just got the ideal um, first turn. Are you gonna stop this? Let's see. We just got rid of both of his back crow, his only monster. We've set up dimensional fissures so every um so all of his other Yang Zings are gonna have a headache, and here's rivalry of the warlords. Only one type of monster? I don't mind that. And we also get this guy. So have fun playing. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. And of course, our decoy dragon is set up, and we don't need the Daedalus. Yeah, I mean, we could have kept the Daedalus in the Banished Zone, but at this moment I'm just greeting. Because we have a Daedalus in our hand as well, if he does summon something useful, they don't need to get rid of it this turn. All I have to do is Daedalus on my turn. At this point, whatever he diagrams is gonna- <laughs> Yeah, I fucking thought so. I'm actually a little bit worried. I kind of want to preempt him with uh, Typhoons, but I'm, I don't know um, if it's going to come to that. I should probably be prepared to Typhoon. Because, if anything, I think he's going to slide in some something that's not rivalry, and also something that's going to be really annoying for me. But what do we take out? His back row doesn't really seem to be well equipped to deal with me. Uh, I don't think we're going to need Axe, to be honest. Uh, we don't need Axe, so we're just going to chuck in two Typhoon. Three Typhoon? Wait, there's no way right Geki is going to do anything versus a deck that's entirely Yang Zings without a dimensional fissure, right? Right. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was supposed to put in Baba Baba after that disgraceful loss to Noble Knight. Disgraceful. Well, we know what his monster is, so we're not going to attack into it because we don't need to. That's just it, we just don't need to attack into it. Hello. Hello. 
what I'm doing now is putting a Nephthys in my grave. Um, because if we do that, then Deco Dragon actually has something to summon back, and of course he still has back row. Um, so, that is the reason why. HOLY GOD! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, did he think that Nephthys just happened? Well, well, he saved me using my Clara and Rushka. I wanted it in the grave anyway, but that just, that is totally fine. We're not really fearing any damage from the Yangzing here set. If anything, he's going to take more damage than me. Um, and when we normal summon Decoy Dragon now, um, we can just grab back the Nephthys in case he had, in case he ever wants to summon back around. Which he might. That's annoying. Still very very interesting to have Yang Zings in the deck that tributes. Not that it's wrong, it's just that it's very interesting. I mean, perhaps the true Dracos just give you more synchro materials. Perhaps. Yeah, we're just going to normal summon this and then just let everything happen. It, we don't need to do anything. He is wise to it though, which is why he activated it. Not that he necessarily has the thing to do, but he just doesn't want to get um, it banished, of course, with um, with uh, with Nephthys in the grave, because he's anticipated it. But of course, if he attacks into me, well, if he tributes, okay. If he attacks, he's fucked. Probably contemplating whether or not to attack. Actually, him sending a card tells me that he's probably not going to. Again, this would have been a really good time for me to have Baba Barber in my uh, extra deck, but I'm too forgetful. Oh, okay. They seem to both be non tuners. What could you be planning? Chewy? Not nah, Swanee. And they're all non tuners. And he is gonna attack me. Why? <laughs> He's going to call this off the second he reads Decoy Dragon, just watch. <laughs> He's gonna read Decoy Dragon and be like, okay, never mind. Uh-huh, and we're going to chain dimension. This actually. Because I don't like him having back row. The monsters I can deal with. Oh, okay, so he's going to decide to synchro. That makes sense. He's going to pull out his tuna now, and I'll be in big trouble. Yes, taking quite a lot of. Actually, no, he's only taking 500 damage. He judgmented my fucking nef this normal summon. It might have been a misclick. It might have been a misclick. But yo, that was an expensive. Not yet. He's gonna swing one more time? Maybe he's just looking for the. something. I don't know. He's looking for something to make. So he's going to swing with probably. VN? I'm guessing. I think. I mean, there's no way you swing this into me. Not with the life points you have now. <laughs> Neither of these are tuners, right? Okay, I see. Oh, that's really cool! So he can find the attributes of whatever it is he needs. Oh, that's really, really cool. What does you do?
Okay, that's fine. So he can just find the card he needs. Um, so he can summon the Dracos out of his hand. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. The deck dies to Defisher though. I can't imagine he'd have, he'd have nothing for it. Yeah, there we are. There is nothing I'm going to chain. It's just going to be Defisher. Uh, dimension, uh, Metaphys Dimension, sorry. Um, that is asking me to bring back Decoy Dragon when Decoy Dragon would just come back of its own accord. I, I haven't needed to come back yet. I am struggling though. Uh, my hand is dead if I don't draw a Luf Lupine or have a Ragnarok or a left arm offering. But that is a lot of cards, so hopefully I'll draw into something useful. That's fine, we're gone. They're not placed on top right, they just shuffle into the deck. Yeah, shuffle them into the deck. I'm gonna guarantee to draw them. That's fine. Oh, there's the left arm offering I was looking for. Now, let's have some fucking fun. I'm pretty sure they don't really do anything, so uh, what we're gonna do is... How do we get rid of this field? So just banish the Necroface. Um, Spirit Master will kill one of these. I think they both die, so he's just gonna add one card to his hand and they both die. Um... If I add a D-Fish to my hand now, he can't get rid of it, I don't think. This is given, of course, that I actually have something to get rid of his monsters with. If I Gold Sarcophagus, all I'm going to be doing is looking for another Necrophase. I kind of want D-Fish just to have it. Well, that was a fucking long decision. I actually know. Okay, so his field is gone and I win. Cool. Because I get Daedalus and he's top decking at this point. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. If he swings, his Yang Zings die. This should be game. Captive cookie. Here we are. We won. Fuck. We're gonna leave it at that. So we played four games today, sadly we didn't lose, <laughs> no we didn't lose, we didn't manage to win all of them, and it was entirely my fault that that happened. We lost the game to Noble Knights because I got overconfident, because he had 5 cards in his extra deck and 52 cards in his main deck. We learned a valuable lesson there. My brain is fried from misplaying so hard, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, peace.